girls, hello and welcome to old school style Lean Girl Kitchen. Today we are making not one but two easy meal prep recipes together that you are going to love. One is going to be a breakfast recipe. I know that mornings are always so hectic. So we are making a peanut butter banana bread baked oats that is going to give you four portions. So if you make this on a Sunday or Monday, you're going to have a portion for four days. And then we are also going to do a lunch recipe, which is going to be a spicy mince burrito. And these can be, the, the oats can be frozen and the burritos can also be frozen. So you can basically pop them into the freezer. When you are short on time, you are going to have a banging, macro-friendly, low-cal, high-protein meal. No excuses, guys. No excuses. So let's get into the recipes. We are going to start off with this gorgeous little brekkie number. I mean, Galan's about to die. He, he can't wait to eat. Which one are you most excited about? Both. I'm going to eat the burritos first and then I'm going to have dessert with the... Because it's about lunchtime. And then we have a gorgeous little burrito, which I'm going to show you how to package. So let's get into the recipes and then we'll do a Lean Girl taste test. Hey girls, let's get into the recipe. Here is our oat banana bake. So starting off with some regular jungle oats. This was the instant one that I used, but any oats will do. I'm then throwing in my protein powder. So it's two scoops, which is 60 grams. I used the banana flavor of Metalab, which was their special limited edition, a pinch of salt. And then of course my favorite ingredient, lots of sweetener, but up to you. If you don't like things that are too sweet, please, you can just throw in one, two, three, whatever you like. Then one teaspoon of baking powder to make sure this oat bake rises and then a dash of cinnamon. Then just give all of your dry ingredients a little mix around and then we are gonna go in with the wet ingredients. So I'm using three egg whites here, which is gonna up the protein in our bake. You can also use the normal liquid egg whites. I didn't actually have any on hand. So unfortunately, whoops, we're wasting a couple of yolks. That would be 90 mils um, of egg whites, by the way. And then 100 mils of this almond and oat milk. You can use regular oat milk, whichever you prefer, um, or almond milk. And then you are just going to go ahead and mash two ripe bananas and we are going to toss those in and then give them a mix. I actually like to not mash my bananas to a complete pulp because now and again in the bake, you then get a really nice bite of banana. Then you are just gonna give it a good old mix. And don't worry, the mixture does look quite runny, but because the oats soaks up all the liquid, once the bake is cooked, it will be perfect and solid. And if you know me, I am a total texture girl. So I added some all bran flakes into this dish. I was struggling here. I was like, the dish is too heavy, so it just maxes out the scale. Um, so I just added 30 grams of all bran and I added this at the end so that we still kept a bit of the texture. It didn't get all mushy with the rest of it. Then you are just gonna grab a medium sized baking tray, spray it with non-stick spray, and then you are going to pour in your oats bake mixture. You are going to put this in the oven on 180. If your dish can fit into the air fryer, amazing. You can do it in there too, but this dish is a little bit big. So 180, delicious, 180 um, for around 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. You can always just check it by doing a little pin prick. And before popping this into the oven, you are gonna take your third and final banana and you are gonna cut some slices and just lay them on top, which I just think looks so pretty when you bake it all up. And there you go, ready for the oven. So again, 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Once she is baked, she looks golden and gorgeous. And you are gonna cut this oat bake into four equal pieces. Each one of these pieces is only 300 calories. Amazing, because they are really nice and big and they are going to keep you so satisfied if you have this for breakfast. 
To be honest, I actually also had this as an afternoon treat because 300 calories is the perfect portion for that too and it's high protein. And I topped it off with 10 grams of peanut butter and worked into the calories is the 10 grams of peanut butter. So don't miss it out. And there is your glorious high protein peanut butter oat bake. Right, let's get started with our burrito wraps for lunch. Starting with a non-stick pan, as always, with some spray and cook. You are then going to go ahead and add about 150 grams of mushrooms. And you just want to saute them. And of course, always spice as you go. You guys know I love the Funky Oma spice because that's like one spice that has all the spices. And then once your mushrooms have browned just a tad, you are going to add your extra lean beef mince. This is 500 grams of extra lean beef mince. I'm spicing it again. And here I'm adding a couple more things. So Funky Oma spice paprika and then i had another mixed spice here that i used as well so i am actually a huge spice collector wherever i go i buy spices because that's what i use to flavor my food and that's wonderful because there's no calories you can just add lots of flavor to your food now you just want to brown your mince and get it cooked about 80 percent there so you can keep on moving it around and it'll brown and cook as you go then once it's almost done, you're gonna ha add half a can of tomato and onion. If you only have tin tomato, you can also go ahead and chop up an onion in it too. Then I'm adding this roasted vegetable pasta sauce from Woolworths, it's one of my favorites. I like the basil one as well. They just have so much flavor in one sauce. These sauces take hours to make when you get so much flavor in them. So adding them to your mince just packs a ton of flavor with just one simple ingredient. And again, taste your mince as you go. Make sure that there's enough salt and that there's enough pepper and enough spices. And then just before the mince is ready to be turned off, you can add a handful of spinach leaves. You know, I always love to add some greens and some veggies where I can. So you won't even really taste these much, but we're just adding an extra bit of fiber and some extra nutrients into our mince too. Then once your mince is done, you are gonna pop it into a large bowl or onto a plate. So the key here for these burritos is that we do not want to make them um, go soggy when they're in the freezer or fridge. So cooling the mince down by popping the mince into the fridge before we wrap them up is going to help the moisture not go soggy when we make our burritos. And while the mince is cooling, you can just prepare your four pieces of aluminum foil, which we are going to wrap up our burritos in. I'm using these large blue um, shirt wraps so they are quite big, which is nice because it holds a lot of our mince mixture. They are around 200 calories per wrap if you want to get ones that are similar. And then I'm popping in a quarter of our mince mixture. So the way to do it is to weigh out the entire dish and then divide that number by four to make sure you have equal portions going into each burrito. Then you're going to add your cheese, roll them up, and then you're going to roll them up again in your aluminum foil. So a pretty simple, easy process. And again, these can be popped into the freezer and just defrost it when you are ready to eat them. These burritos are just around 450 calories and they are so tasty. Okay darlings, so those were both super easy recipes. Remember when you are trying to get lean, it is so important to not start figuring out what you're gonna eat when you are starving. So meal prepping can be a huge lifesaver. And remember, I'm on a mission to teach you how to get lean while eating delicious food. So if you love these recipes, I know you're gonna try them. And if you love them, which you will, remember I have over 400 recipes inside my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, which so many of them are also meal prep friendly, which means you cook once, you eat three or four times, that's what smart girls do, right? So go and check out the recipe hub um, and let's do a little Lean Girl taste test. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to try these, Ben? Mm. Okay, let's cut into our little banging burrito. I was gonna say burrito. I think it's very South African. Or Bur say burrito. I actually should have heated it up because there's a whole bit of cheese that needs to be melted in there. How good does she look? Oh, wow. yeah. There she is. That's Kalan's lunch right there. Mm. How good does she look? That looks amazing. 
And that one's around 450 calories, which is fab. Like 33 grams of protein, I think. Mwah, chef's kiss. And actually, I, sh I should have given that one a bite. This is your lunch, babe. So tasty. When you put like the pasta sauce into a mint, and just add those few extras, it can change a boring bland mince into something sensational, guys. Because you know I have a sweet tooth. I'm excited about savory, but I'm always more excited about sweet. Can you see how moist she is? And banana, banana always does that in recipes. So that's why I actually opted for this flavor because we don't want a dry cake in the morning. Hot day. Don't believe me, just watch. This is breakfast, but it's dessert. It is legit dessert. My girls, you officially have homework to go and try these two lingual recipes. Meal prep them for the week. It is gonna save you so much time. You're gonna have something delicious that is gonna help you to reach your lean bod goals and just put a smile on your dog. I hope that you love them. I hope that you try them. And I will see you here back next week on the Lean Girl YouTube channel for more lean body hacks, lean girl recipes, and all that good stuff. Behind the scenes, the cameraman gets his food. She couldn't even turn it on quick enough. I had already taken a bite. Mm. What do you think? Hey, it's lunchtime in like half an hour. Yeah, that's gonna be yours then. I can eat those all day. Well, aren't you lucky that there are so many? Mm. And okay. then, the lingle's favorite thing. I love banana cake, banana bread. Just so. wait. Just wait. Mm. Hey, and mm. I didn't mention, this freaking huge giant slice is 300 cows. With the peanut butter. With the peanut butter. This is only 300 cows? Yes, boy. Oh my God, then in, in, <laughs> in that case. Oh my God. <laughs>